Ready, 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 ready. <laughs> Hi, God Cass. Um, my name is Lila Star. I'm, ca I'm coming to you from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm 25 years old. Um, five feet tall, 925 pounds. But a whole lot of women. But what makes my story interesting is that I'm a transsexual woman. And I just recently found out about God Cass about maybe 30 minutes ago. And I just took it as a sign. I was like, I, mu I must post... Uh, a casting video to you all and see where it kind of goes um because i noticed a lot of reality tv um these days that involve transgendered or gay or lesbians it's just kind of like dark or it's like over the top and just really cartoonish in a way you know and i think that yeah we are we are glamorous and there's glitz and there's glamour we're fabulous and no matter how poor or rich we are we definitely look we look rich and we feel good always, you know, on the outside. But I think that um, there needs to be a light shed on transsexual women, especially like myself. And that's the reason why I'm coming to you solo um, in a white day going jeans, just because I want you to see that there's just women that are just regular. They're trying to be successful and trying to be married and live life and be good moms and good be, ro be good role models. But um, living in a big city, it's just... It's not really easy, and um, I, I, I think I'm pretty glamorous and pretty fabulous, but I come from a really big family, um, a Puerto Rican family, and it's taken a lot to educate them and get them to be supportive, and they are, which is a beautiful thing, but it's not like that for all transsexual women, and I think that with me having um, maybe my own show or, or any kind of recognition, I get, to, I get to use it as a platform to kind of... Um, educate the world and have them see how hard it is as transsexual, Latina, in a big city, no matter what color you are actually, just being in a big city and seeing how people take you. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm fortunate enough to kind of go wherever um, I need to go and not be, have a second, you know, have someone give a second look at me. But if that happens, it's pretty nerve-wracking because you never know how people are going to react to you, you know, whether it's on the train or just walking the street or maybe the supermarket. You know, so it's pretty difficult at times, but, but it is fun and it's an interesting life because when, at the end of the day, when we get into hair and we get into makeup and, and we look, we, we look a certain way and, and that is as a woman and we feel so good, we get to just give the world what we, we hold inside throughout the whole day when we're silent. We could just let it all out, you know, and I think, um, the power of reality TV, um, gives girls opportunities, um, to do that. And... I guess that's my dream, to get into reality TV so you can kind of see what I'm all about, how I live my life, because it's pretty interesting, my love life, my regular life, um, just walking the streets at work, you know, while I'm doing hair, and just dealing with people, dealing with family, you know, um, kind of overall 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it's always different, and it's always pretty interesting and special. And I think um, sometimes I'm in a moment and I'm just like, where's the camera crew? I need the camera crew. And, you know, whether it's just me regular waking up, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a show, <laughs> I would say. So, um, I guess got cast, whoever's out there, just, um, pay attention, pay attention. Because if it's not successful here, I'm definitely won't, I definitely won't stop. But, um, pay attention. Lila Star. Her own show, please, got cast. So.